Welcome to the knowledge series of IT Partshala. This tutorial video is the fourth part of logic building module. Our learners are advised to go through the first, second and third parts of logic building module before proceeding with this video. In this video, we'll discuss pseudocode as a logic modeling tool, including its advantages and disadvantages. Pseudocode is non-standard English-like a programming language. It is English-like because the logic statements read more like English sentences and phrases than what is typically found with programming language syntax. Pseudocode is non-standard because unlike programming languages which have very strict rules regarding keywords and syntax, there are no standards when it comes to pseudocode. As long as this statement is readable and defines what that logic step needs to accomplish, it is acceptable as a pseudocode. Pseudocode rules. The pseudocode program should begin with start instruction and complete with end instruction. Each pseudocode statement should contain at least one instruction. Each pseudocode statement should contain a verb that represents the action performed along with any identifier and operators that hold program values or perform calculations. The advantages of pseudocode. The primary advantage of pseudocode comes from the fact that it is a programming language. It's a very simple and unstructured programming language. It's very easy to transition pseudocode to a programming language. Pseudocode requires the least amount of modification from logical model to actual program, whereas a flowchart may represent a perfect word solution, but it might not be easily implemented into a program. It may take some time for a programmer to learn a new programming language, but since pseudocode is similar to reading instructions, it does not involve a steep learning curve. Anyone who can read and write can create pseudocodes and understand pseudocode instructions. Disadvantages of pseudocode The disadvantages of pseudocode start with its lack of standards. One person's logic instructions may not seem as logical as the others. Given the unstructured nature of pseudocode, it has few rules and is hard to standardize. One programmer might not understand the logic written by someone else. Another disadvantage over other modeling tools like flowcharts is pseudocode's inability to show logic flows or the bigger picture. While flowcharts provide an overview of the logic and can be understood at a higher level, pseudocode is far more detail-oriented and requires more concentration and practice to see the bigger picture. Pseudocode focuses more on the details and the graphics of flowcharts allow for a 10,000 foot big picture perspective. We will now try writing pseudocode for making a cup of tea. The code will begin with a start tag and then first of all we will organize everything together everything that is required to make a cup of tea and then the next step we will plug in the kettle then we'll put tea bag in cup then put water into kettle wait for kettle to boil add water to cup remove tea bag with a spoon or fork add milk and or sugar and finally serve it. We will now close the pseudocode with the end tag. So if you look at this pseudocode, you will realize that while writing this pseudocode, all we did is listed all the steps involved in making the cup of a tea using the minimum words. This is the pseudocode for a program that reads number n and prints the integers counting up to n. This is a pseudocode for a program that reads numbers m and n and prints the multiplied value of m and n. Our logic building module ends here. In this module, we discuss the importance of good logical thinking for a software programmer, use of flowcharting and pseudocode models in logic modeling, as well as their advantages and disadvantages. For more tutorial videos, please visit our library at www.itpartshala.com.